Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ignore this, this is my bedding. I forgot to take it up last night. But it is a Thursday, Thursday something of May post. Okay. Um, what day is it? Something in May. It's like the first week of May. It's the 6th of May, so yeah obviously i know there's a lot of it i know in the month of may i'm basically not gonna be like active in terms of like youtube videos ignore my chipped nail polish like chipped chipped but obviously there weren't many videos from me in may because i've got a lot of stuff like a lot of stuff on Obviously, at the end of April, I stopped uploading as well. And I'm probably not going to upload again till like, the 21st of May, when, like, everything has to be in. Like, when I'm basically finished with college work. So, I'm sorry about lack of uploads, but obviously education takes priority in this sense of just, it's just better to get it done. If I've uploaded an odd one in the month of May then that's a bonus but yeah so today is actually like voting day for like local election for like your area type thing so I'm gonna do that I've sort of the people currently in charge of my area are Labour I know I ended up, there was this thing go through the door of what things are about. Honestly, I don't even know what they do for the area. But, our current person is Labour. So, and things aren't like too fucked up at the moment. So I'd just say, go with Labour again. Um, my lunch is ready at basically 2 o'clock because I had a driving lesson. Now I'd like to point out that the main reason why I hadn't paid attention to it is because it's only like a local election it's not like the one where you're voting for prime minister like it's not a main election like it's not a general election is that what it's called which is why i haven't been paying attention to it and it's also because it's only local elections it's not in the news as such and so it's just not something that's like being brought to my attention as much but i'm gonna eat my lunch i've had pasta and cheese again i just i didn't fancy doing salad stuff but i got a package and i will unbox it for you once i've finished eating i'm sorry about the pinging in the background but if you have been on my channel as of recently you'll see that i've uploaded a few houseplant related stuff but yeah, as of recently, I've been getting into houseplants and basically, like anyone who's new getting into houseplants, you immediately become obsessed with them. Much to the point, what well, I just decided to scroll through Etsy one day. I ended up coming across such a thing as mystery boxes, where you can buy like a cutting of a mystery plant and get sent it and grow it and so i've ordered two different mystery boxes i ordered one cutting from each and i'm full on like full on expecting to be given a cutting of a plant that's going to grow absolutely huge or isn't going to be suitable for my windowsill or is going to be like a training plant and i'm genuinely expecting it <clears throat> i don't know which one this is from so we will find out when we open up the box and i'm trying to think how am i gonna properly open this and i have an earring close by and so of course an earring is a perfect thing to use to open a box so all i can say is that it is packaged nicely Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so 
Oh my god. I've got two. Oh god. And I'm looking at these and oh my god. <laughs> okay, so the person has put in a note. It says, thank you for being our first customer. That's the thing that I read. <laughs> included, I've included a little extra for you. I have one Monstera Adansonii. That's going to be big. And one string of pearls, which is again a plant that is going to be big. Oh my god, that means I need a new plant pot. Oh god. Because string of pearls. Yeah. So this is what a string of pearls looks like. I might end up having to sell these on like Etsy if I don't actually have the space for them. <laughs> And then this is my Monstera Adansonii. Oh god. Honestly, we're screwed in terms of space. <clears throat> Luckily, they've got like this little bit like keeping them wet, so mm, my string of pals should be okay. But yeah, packaged nicely. I think these are from Plantsy. So I will try and leave the Etsy linked below. But yeah, two different plants. <clears throat> Luckily I've got a jar for keeping it growing in water, at least for my Monstera. <clears throat> but this is going to get huge. This is going to get bloody huge. Oops. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to transport all of these to uni. And you've got to think, I've still got another plant coming. Oh, it's got like little bits of roots on. Yeah, you've got to think. I've still got another like box coming. Oh god. Uh, oh well. Looks like I'm going to be trying to get these done, like get these sorted, especially like my string of pals as well, because I'm going to need to buy like a plant pot tomorrow, at the very least like a nursery pot and like a tray. <sighs> so yeah, those are like the plants that we got, that's like a little mini haul. But now to put this in water. I kind of want there to be more growth before I plant it though. But yeah. My nice little plant. I think what I might do is I might stick some like a little bit of soil in the jar before as well as water. I don't know. Because I did that with my snake plant not snake plant chinese money plant okay so i've put this in water and i've had to be a little creative with my keeping of my string of pearls and i've used the lid of an odd water bottle because it's got like it's like a perfect shape Honestly, it's just perfect for this type of thing. But, like I said, packaged really, really well. I might be propagating this a lot to try and sell on Etsy. And I'm not kidding either. Like, I genuinely think I might be doing that. Because at least that way, I can keep it to a minimum in terms of, like, size. I don't know whether my Monstera actually will like propagate in water but I've stuck it in water for now. If it needs soil then I'll just take out the water and stick in some soil. It's not a problem. And what I'm going to do is for now I'm just going to stick them all on my windowsill. If and then like look into them further like <sighs> the conditions that they actually need type thing. <clears throat> And that's just how I'm going to go about it. I knew I'd get a big plant and a string 
like I I literally said I'm expecting to get like a plant that's gonna go really big grow really big or it's gonna be a string of something and of course I got a string of something I'm not complaining in that sense because I do I do know I want these plants like I'd have wanted these type of plants in the future but obviously I've got some more room I just wonder what I'm going to get in my other plant mystery box which will probably come tomorrow and, I, and will probably come when I'm not here so they're going to know that I've bought something oops oh well honestly anything becomes a propagation station and I don't use like that the water bottle that that cap is for anyway so it's no big deal I might just end up buying like a tiny jar of glass jar or even plastic jar anyway like a clear one for like propagating purposes or like plant growing purposes that's my mystery plants obviously I got more than what I was expecting to shipping was really good though like <clears throat> when did I order it was it Tuesday or was it Wednesday I think it might have been like the really early hours of Wednesday as in like 1am Wednesday granted it is first class though so I know for one of the boxes I paid a pound and for the other I paid no not a pound one box I paid two pounds the other box I paid three pounds I'm not sure which one this is but it's either two or three pounds I will try and leave like this exact like mystery box link below or at the very least like the person's Etsy like store and there was one of the stores that I ordered for that was um like it had a succulents one and I could have gone for that but I wanted like a house plant so I kind of knew that I can't remember which store it was but I know that with that type thing I know that I was within a chance of getting like a massive plant but yeah I'm just more thinking how the hell are we going to transport these to uni Let's just hope I'm not taking too much. That's my mystery plants. Now here's to me researching them. Okay, so it's now the Tuesday of the next week. The reason why I didn't film like any more of that day is because pretty much my days are like the same where it's like I procrastinate, I don't do stuff. I'm thinking, oh my god, I need to get on with work. I've got so much work, but I don't do it. So my days are pretty much the same so I'm just trying to film the odd highlight and mainly it's stuff that arrives or I bought. Like last night I bought a top for when I go out for drinks like next Friday. Like I bought it off of Depop and I'll probably end up showing it in this video. But my other mystery plant cussing arrived. But first I'm going to show you something that I bought yesterday. So, the works, as in like the store, near, basically it says everything must go on the front. So, of course, I walk in. And, obviously, the works, they have the three for five deal on books now I haven't finished a book in the past month because of procrastination reasons but of course I've bought three more books and I bought them all from like the same author and like the same sort of like characters because I read one book with those characters and of course because I love that book I have to have them all so yeah I've got Odessa Sea by Clive Cussler and Dirk Cussler and this is with like the Numa team so yeah it's that one I also got Sea of 
Sea of Greed by Clive Cussler and Graham Brown. Again, follows the same characters. And Clive Cussler and Graham Brown, The Pharaoh's Secret. Again, the same characters. Or like the same team of characters. I feel like these books are like one, like the ones with Dirk Cussler are like one side of characters. Like, they're all part of the same team, but yeah. And then, now on to the plant cursing. Now, all I've done is open this, so like, it was easier. But it's this massive thing. I'm thinking that it was probably the only bag that... The only postage bag that the person has got. But look, this is cute. Like, this is cute. I appreciate this. Watch me have a plant that is going to grow absolutely huge. I haven't had a drink today, which is why my voice is sounding a bit croaky. And the suspense continues. I'm going to guess this is a little note. Oh! I've received a, the jelly bean plant, which is a species of stone crop. You have leaves as well as the plant cutting. This gives you options for propagation. Either you can pick off the leaves or use rooting powder and plant straight into soil. If you choose to propagate the leaves, lay it flat on slightly humid soil with the leaf base close to the soil. Provide it with suitable temperatures and a lighted area. In two to three weeks, a bud will grow at the leaf base. So... Watch me probably kill this plant because I'm not going to buy like any extra like soil. But the attention to detail is like huge. I will say that. And more tape. I don't think I've ever heard of the jelly bean plant. But then again, I've just, I just sort of look for plants that have green leaves. Because then they're always going to go in terms of like with a whatever decorations my room has jesus christ <laughs> it's like past the parcel where you just keep unraveling layers and slowly you get you'll get to the bottom i could be wrong but i feel like it looks a little bit similar to like a jade plant leaf type thing and i have also got like a pod as well so it looks like we're gonna have to try and find a container for that yay <laughs> honestly i think what i might end up doing is literally just like putting two of my cuttings together and just yeah honestly tiny i'll probably end up killing it but <sighs> oh well okay so like i promised i was only filming like the best of it however filming will go back to normal and i am currently in the process of like planning out a video i don't often plan out videos but for this one it's especially important but i wanted to show you a delivery i got it's not the depop parcel that's still not arrived i got some metal straws i bought them for two pounds off of amazon like i genuinely it was like well i kind of want some metal straws so i bought some so you get four straws two like completely straight and two that have like the bend and you also get two like cleaners to help clean inside the straw and also you get like this handy bag and yeah i think these are going to be mainly useful like i bought them because i just wanted metal straws but I think these are going to be useful when it comes to like going on like a holiday like in the UK because of I when I go on holiday I'm very basic in the fact that I just drink like a slush and I'm not joking and obviously you get paper straws and with a slush it's icy so a metal straw will be better now I don't have a big drink with me quite literally but we are gonna be extra now in case you're wondering like what the company is called it says a and w broad 
like I said, I paid two pounds for them. They were like Amazon Prime. Like I paid for them on Friday, but because um, like they were on Amazon Prime, but because they were so cheap, it took till today to come. They originally weren't supposed to come till tomorrow. And by the way, today is like is a Tuesday. Hopefully, my Depop parcel will arrive tomorrow. However, I now technically no longer need it as my friend's now on like standby for her work and so therefore can't go so i'm not going i bought the top for basically no reason i will wear it like when we go out for drinks at some point because we will go out for drinks but yeah okay so my depot parcel arrived this is what it looks like it's more of like a it's not jersey but yeah it's cute little tight but it's like a stretchy material so it's all right and yeah nice really pretty and it's just got this nice floral design on and yeah however i could also be a little bloated which is why but it's like you can see a little bit of cleavage but you're also covered up like you've been a bit modest ish but yeah that's what my depop order is like looks like i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to watch another one of my videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys